thought I'd call and let you know I made it here safe. And I love you and I miss you. A message from her husband, James, brings Debbie Correo back to happier times. We just had a great day. We talked about redoing our vows. People told us that we were very giddy that day. That giddiness of March 14, 2009 came to an end here on the corner of Titanium and Tropicana. Debbie and her husband were on motorcycles heading east down Tropicana. A pickup truck was heading west when it abruptly turned right in front of them onto Titanium. And I watched it from my husband. <laughs> And all I could do is scream. You can still see the green paint where the motorcycle ended up, right next to this makeshift memorial. After the initial impact, James kept going about another 20 feet to right where that circle is, and the pickup truck driver kept going too. He took off. He hit him and ran. And a lady told me, she looked at me and said, I will go get him. And she chased him down. Witnesses say he made a quick left lost control of his pickup truck and ended up crashing right here into this fence. Now strangers pulled him out of his pickup truck and held him until police arrived. Police arrested Carlos Henriquez. He was in court three days or 72 hours later. We go to court and the judge says, um, I'm gonna let you out on an OR with an ankle bracelet. And we screamed and ran out of the courtroom. Judge Tony Abitangelo would not talk to us about his ruling, but Chief Judge Ann Zimmerman told me the judge's hands were tied by the law's 72-hour deadline. And if the state of Nevada, the district attorney's office, does not have a complaint filed by that first court appearance, then we have to release him. So why no formal complaint? Deputy District Attorney Christopher Lawley says it came down to legal ethics. Would you or anyone want us to file those charges without reviewing the most important piece of evidence in the case? And in this case, that was a blood alcohol analysis. I don't care if they didn't have his blood work or not. He hit him, he killed him, and took off. He didn't stay to see what happened. He took off. So is that not enough to keep somebody in jail? Could you, though, have held this guy on maybe another charge like vehicular, you know, homicide, fleeing the scene, just until you could get that blood work back? The other felony charge that was approved in this case is leaving the scene. Um, unfortunately, that charge also requires us to prove that there was some injury to the victim. For us to prove there is injury usually requires us to rely on some kind of forensic evidence. In this case, it was the coroner's report, which we did not receive uh, until after the blood alcohol uh, report. Delays at Metro's crime lab start with manpower. They're down four people in the blood alcohol area. Right now we have about 1,800 cases in blood alcohols. However, let me state that that's only a three-month period. They give felony cases priority treatment, and those are usually done within two weeks. How often does that happen, that a formal complaint isn't filed within that 72-hour period? More often than not. Rarely is a complaint filed at 72 hours. According to the judges, the DA's office does not have a good record of filing charges in a timely manner. Okay, well, I would disagree with that. It took five more days to get blood alcohol results for Carlos Henriquez. The DA's office filed a formal complaint, and soon the bailiff called Henriquez's name. I kept looking around going, where is he, where is he, where is he? Henriquez never showed. Now there's a bench warrant out for him, and he's not alone. Of the 9,663 DUI charges filed between January last year and the end of May this year, 280 defendants skip court police are still looking for them. How hopeful are you that this guy will ever be caught again? Do you think he left the country? I, I'm not going to speculate as to when he will be picked up, but when he is, we'll have a very prosecutable case uh, against him. And what would you like to see happen in terms of the law? The laws need to be changed for DUIs. They need to stay in jail. They don't need to get out. There's no reason why they should get out.